Energetic, friendly, and highly intelligent, the Abyssinian is considered the border collie of the cat world because of its smarts and endurance. The Abyssinia is one of the smartest breeds of cat. They're also one of the top five most popular cat breeds in the U.S. Abyssinian is a very beautiful cat. Absolutely gorgeous. Steeped in mystery, the origins of the Abyssinian cat are uncertain. The Abyssinian is one of the oldest breeds of cats. There are depictions of this cat in ancient Egyptian sculptures, murals, and paintings. Once believed to be from ancient Abyssinia, now Ethiopia, recent genetic evidence now suggests Southeast Asia on the coast of the Indian Ocean as the Abyssinian's place of origin. Abyssinians of today retain the jungle look of Felis labica, the African wildcat ancestor of all domestic cats. And their distinctive gorgeous coat is one of several characteristics that emphasize the wild look of the Abyssinian. The Abyssinian is what's called a tabby ticked cat. Ticking means that the cat has a lighter color on their hair when it's closest to the body. And then the farther that the hair moves away, the more that you see different bands of coloring on the coat. Abyssinians come in four stunning shades. Red, fawn, blue, and the most popular, ruddy. And you pair that with these beautiful yellow or green eyes, and you've got a very striking looking cat. The Abyssinian's large, expressive, almond-shaped eyes come in brilliant gold or green. And their large, wide-set and pointed ears give them an alert demeanor and complete their wild look. Notorious for their antics, the Abyssinian is often called the clown of the cat kingdom. An Abyssinian is probably going to be very skilled at finding something to get into pulling down a roll of toilet paper or otherwise messing up your house, but having a lot of fun while they're doing it. They're definitely for people who like to take a little bit of a walk on the wild side. With an average lifespan of 12 to 15 years, the Abyssinian is generally a healthy cat. However, they are prone to a few health problems. They have the patellar luxation where the kneecap rides in and out. They're also prone to gingivitis. The Abyssinian is a people-loving companion, but children may be disappointed. The Abbey often does not like being held. <laughs> He's ready to go. The Abbey is one of the easiest cats to groom. They don't shed a lot. You just need to brush them maybe once a week. So in general, the Abyssinian is prone to gum disease and patella luxation. They should be brushed weekly, and though they aren't always lap cats, they make devoted family companions.